Trixie Mattel, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 3, took to TikTok on Friday to share how the packaging of an upcoming cosmetic launch from Kylie Jenner reminded her a great deal of her own, with the drag queen even accusing Kylie and her team of copying her. Trixie has remained a mainstay favorite among the former contestants of RuPaul's Drag Race, catching a massive fan base almost immediately after her short-lived run on season 7. Since then, Chess gone on to produce top-charting music, star in her own show on Vice, and create one of the most profitable cosmetic lines that rivals some of the world's biggest influencers. Trixie's cosmetic style was initially a major point of contention for her when she was first introduced to the Drag Race franchise. From her season 7 competitors giving snide remarks about her unrealistic, Barbie-style look to Acid Betty's attack on her nose contour during an episode of Untuck the Season right after, it took a while for a few of her peers to understand her vision. Though, with the support from her fans and the $1,000 she won from All Stars 3, Trixie started her own makeup brand, Trixie Cosmetics. She began selling products at RuPaul's Drag Con 2019, the drag superstar has branched into the beauty guru industry by doing tons of collaborations with famous influences on her YouTube channel. On Friday, Trixie posted a clip to her official TikTok of her, applying one of the heart-shaped lip glosses from her collection. Behind her is a screen grab of one of the heart-shaped lip glosses from Kylie Jenner's upcoming Valentine's Day launch. The X-Files theme song accompanies Trixie looking back at the photo and at her own product. The caption read him calling the police, implying that Killy stole the idea for the packaging. People became pretty vocal about the alleged rip-off on Twitter, with users bashing Killy for stealing yet another idea, though Killy has yet to make a response. One of the main grips Twitter users have in this situation is the extensiveness of how much inspiration Killy seems to take from other creators and utilizes within her multi-million earning business. One user said, we need to do more to protect black and queer creators. This sh isn't okay. It's not like Trixie is some small-time brand her packaging is very known. Though there's another vocal majority within the threads, that belief there's not as much similarity to the products as Trixie and her following are making out. Another user said, I don't know if this is copying though, I mean don't they have manufacturers that make them and sell to different brands? Like if the formula was the same or they were permanent I would be offended. Dot as Killy and her sisters have had incidences in which their latest products end up looking an awful lot like another creator's, it's easy to see why people would be quick to accuse her of the same crime once more. Though, Trixie Cosmetics is a much larger makeup manufacturer than a vast majority of the creators that the influencer sisters have been accused of knocking off in the past. This leads many to believe that Killy wouldn't copy such a well-known brand, for fear of being called out. Followers of Killy could likely expect a statement soon, distancing the conception of the Valentine's Day lip gloss from that of Trixie's.